Here we have two adding machines by Victor. The one on the left has a 10 key keyboard, that's a series 7. The one on the right has a full keyboard and that's a series 6. Apart from the keyboards, they're essentially the same. They're very easy to use and they only do addition. So you enter a number, uh, there's a small indicator here that shows you how many digits you've entered, and pull the handle. That adds that number to the internal register. Now I've entered three numbers and you can see the subtotal by moving this button upwards when you pull the handle. It prints the current subtotal. The internal register is not cleared however so you can continue to enter numbers and add those to that uh, total. To do the total, you move this button again, but now not upwards, but downwards towards the T. So that prints the total and also clears the internal register. And you can see that the two totals agree. They both say that the total is 3330. It uh, has an S at the end of it when it's a subtotal and a T at the end when it's the t final total. If you've entered a number and uh, you've made a mistake, you can clear that by pulling this down. On this machine, if you've entered a number and you want to clear it, you just move this, uh, the total uh, button. To add a number several times without clearing, you can move this button towards the R. So now this input number is locked in. And you can add it several times. The, uh, the total and subtotal button that's locked until you clear the input. And then you can uh, show the total. The same happens on this, this machine, except that you don't need to release this or you don't need to clear the keyboard because that happens automatically when you move this. These are very simple machines. Uh, they don't do subtraction at all. But there are versions of these machines with a slightly different case. They are more expensive, or were more expensive, that do allow subtraction. They would have, uh, yeah, there you could move this button upwards to do uh, subtraction. That also meant that you couldn't do a repeated subtraction though. They're very easy to open because you need to be able to open the case to access the uh, uh, ink ribbon. You just pull the uh, pull the crank off. Underneath there are two uh, small catches that you have to slide fo forwards, right here. One on this side and one on this side. And then you just uh, lift off the casing.
The, uh, the internal uh, register has nine digits, but you can only do eight digits of input. Oh, no, let me do uh, nine. Yeah, it ends after you've entered eight digits. But, uh, yeah, when you print the total, you see that it does have an extra digit at the end. So it has nine digits in the internal register. Obviously, this one also has eight digits of input. This one doesn't print quite as, uh, as clearly. The ribbon is a bit uh, dried out. The um, Victor Adding Machine Company was founded in 1918. And uh, yeah, their first machines were without printing even. But uh, within, within two years, they made a printing version. And uh, yeah, it became rather successful because th they were much cheaper than uh, competitor machines at the time. Um, these two series, the six and seven, were released in 1938 and were in production until the early 1950s. This one, from the serial number, this one was made in 1948 and this one in 1950. There are very small mechanical differences or, or, and also things like uh, this, uh, this crank uh, end. Uh, this one is made of wood and this one made of plastic. Also, these control buttons are slightly different sizes. These ones are slightly smaller and grey. These are slightly larger and white. But mechanically, these two machines are extremely similar. In the 1950s, uh, they released many other versions of these machines that had much more capabilities. Um, they had, uh, they were electric and could do addition and uh, multiplication as well, automatically. In 1961, the Victor Adding Machine Company merged with the Comptometer Corporation, the company that used to be Felton Tarrant, and they became the Victor Comptometer uh, Company. And yeah, they discontinued the uh, Felton Tarrant models and just started uh, importing the Bell Punch uh, Sumlock machines and called those uh, comptometers. Um, at, uh, at the moment, this uh, Victor uh, as a company still exists, but they, uh, they, they just sell electronic uh, calculators, essentially. So this was the, uh, these were the Victor adding machines, the Series 6 and the Series 7. Sorry, the Series 6 and the Series 7. Thank you for watching.